Griseta, thank you for that live report. Two former Springfield police officers convicted of an assault in an off-duty brawl back in 2015 will not serve time in jail. Their emotional sentencing hearing played out this morning. This as the city begins a new way of investigating cases involving police officers. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live with the latest details. Paris. Chris Jordan, that's right. The judge ruled that both Danielle Billingsway and Christian Cicero will not serve any time in prison so long as they don't violate the rules of their probation. A courtroom full of people anxiously waited to learn the fate of two now former Springfield police officers, Danielle Billingsley and Christian Cicero. They were found guilty of assault and battery by a jury for their actions in an off-duty brawl outside the Nathan Bills Bar in Springfield. Four men were seriously injured in that fight. Judge Mark Mason ruled the two would not spend time behind bars so long as they do not violate their probation. Their absence of any prior record, their experience, their age, and their family ties, which are significant, suggest to me that these cases, as to say for these two individuals, um, um, that um, these cases are cases in which a period of incarceration is not called for. He sentenced Billingsley to a one-year suspended sentence and Cicero to a nine-month suspended sentence. Now there were three other now former officers facing charges. Two were found not guilty by that same jury, Jamison Williams and Anthony Cicero. And Jose Diaz is set to face trial for his alleged actions in the fight next week. Now, this incident from 2015 shed a negative light on the Springfield Police Department. Just recently, the U.S. Department of Justice announced an agreement with the city after an ongoing federal investigation into the department. That resulted in a consent decree aimed at better oversight of the Springfield Police Department being filed in federal court. Also recently implemented was a Springfield Board of Police Commissioners that now oversees the department. Norman Roldan sits on that board and says they are working to prevent any future incidents like this one. As we go forward... We're looking to look at things like those that are happening with ancient bill to make corrections in the police department. He tells Western Mass News there are a lot of great men and women on the city's force, but in the future, he hopes those officers that are off duty are held to a higher standard. I, I would hope that that's something they get trained as they go forward, as we go forward in our uh, as citizens in the city, that they have to also understand that their position is held highly. Mayor Sano did release a statement to Western Mass News that reads, quote, the court has spoken. Police Superintendent Cheryl Clapprood and I will continue to focus on the many initiatives, reforms, and programs that we have implemented in order to continue moving our police department forward. Now, we did also re reach out to Superintendent Clapprood who said that she does not have a comment at this time and she will not until all cases are resolved. Now, as part of their probation, both men are not allowed to go near the Nathan Bills bar or the victims involved in that fight. Reporting live in Springfield, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.